Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will look at very interesting topic in JavaScript, which is arrow notation. In ECMAScript 6, a new and welcome syntax called arrow notation. To specify arrow, you can use equal sign with greater than operator. This new feature help you to reduce number of times you have to type the word function as well as a number of curly braces you have to type. Arrow function allows you to specify syntax in three ways. First, you can omit the function keyword. Second, if the function take only single parameter, then you can omit the parenthesis. Third, if your function have only single statement, then you can omit curly braces also. Arrow functions are always anonymous. In the previous lecture, we learned what is anonymous function. If you wanted to know what is anonymous function, then you can click on the link on the top right corner, right? After that, keep in mind you can't specify identifier for the arrow function like you can with the function keyword. Now let's take a look a few function examples. So if you wanted to create an anonymous function to return a message, you will write this. So we'll say constant f1 is equal to function and we will return hello everyone. Right? You can do the same thing with arrow function also like this. So we'll create a constant variable. So I will say constant f1 is equal to so here we will omit the function keyword and directly specify parenthesis with arrow so i will specify equal sign with greater than operator and just after that we omit the curly braces and specify hello everyone in double quote so in this example we omit the function keyword and after the parenthesis we specify arrow annotation as I said, if you wanted to specify only one statement, then you can omit curly braces while creating arrow function. Now let's take one more example of arrow function with only one argument. So if you wanted to create a function with only one argument, you will write this constant f2 is equal to function and here you will specify first parameter and in the body you will say return value of the argument and print this argument on the console or you can do this with arrow function also like this so i will say constant f2 is equal to so here we first specify argument we did not specify parenthesis here so we directly specify argument here with arrow so we specify argument one then we specify arrow and then we specify body of that function without curly braces right so we'll say value of the argument and print this argument on the console so here both functions are same now if you wanted to multiply two values then you can do this constant f3 is equal to function and we specify two parameters here so i will say argument one comma argument two and in the body we'll say return argument one multiply by argument two now let me show you the same result using arrow function so i will say constant f3 and in the parenthesis I will specify argument 1 comma argument 2 so here we use two parameter that is why we use parenthesis to specify arguments after that we'll specify arrow and call the body so we'll say argument 1 multiply by argument 2 now using this example you will understand how you can use the arrow function Using arrow function, it is very easy to declare a function with arguments. Now we will move to the next topic, this keyword. 
This keyword is normally associated with object-oriented programming. And we will be learning object-oriented programming in future lectures. However, this keyword has also some important features and it can be used in multiple ways. Normally, this keyword is related to the function that are properties of object. This keyword normally refers to itself. Just like we create anonymous function and specify a reference to that function in the variable. So this keyword refers to the current object where he used. Now let's take an example and understand how this keyword work. Like this. So I will say constant obj is equal to. So here we specify two properties for this object. So I will say name and we specify daily tuition. For the name property and we will create a method here so i will say magic and then specify parenthesis and in the body of the magic method we will say return hello and call the first property using this keyword so i will say this dot name right and after that using console.log we will call the magic method. Now in this example we had created an object with two properties. So first we declare a name property with daily tuition message and then we create second property. In the second property we specify magic method and return hello message with first property value. You can see here we use this keyword to call the first property of the current object. So when you execute this statement, you will get hello daily tuition message on the console. Now here, this keyword is bound to the object, not because of magic is the property of the object, but we called it directly on object. Now, if we create a reference of this object and compare both using assignment operator, then what is the result? Just like this, I will say constant m1 is equal to obj.magic I will compare this using assignment operator so I will say console.log and say m1 is equal to object obj.magic now the result would be true right because both have the same reference of the same method and if you call this method using reference then you will get this output. So here javascript called undefined to this keyword because javascript didn't know that this keyword is originally declared in object variable. So this keyword bound to undefined. Right? That's it. That is all for this lecture. I hope you understand this lecture. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.